make a mini museum. And so this is going to be a little different than our other videos because you're really going to have to come up with what your museum is about. So with the mini museum, you want to choose something that you're interested in. Now museums teach people about different topics, history, art, science, the environment. Um, so your museum is going to teach people about something. Now you don't have to be an expert on this topic. You don't have to know everything about it. You just have to be interested in it. So part of what you're going to do today is you might need to research a little bit. You might need to ask maybe people in your house some questions. Maybe you need to look some things up on the internet, watch a video, or maybe you need to go outside and find some things. It'll just depend on what you choose for your topic. So this sheet can kind of help you think through your ideas um, before you make your museum, but you're definitely going to have to think of a topic first. It could be anything. Maybe you want your museum to be about animals, dinosaurs, maybe it's going to be about decoys. Um, it could be about your family, or maybe an interest you have, or a hobby, art, or sports, or something like that. You get to decide, so think about something maybe you've always been interested, something you enjoy doing, or maybe just something you want to learn more about. So to get started, this sheet has a few questions. My museum will be about blank, so think about the topic you want your museum to be about. It also has things I want to put in my museum. Maybe there's some objects you have, maybe there's some things you made, some pictures you're going to print out, or some writing you want to do for it. Questions you need to look up. Maybe there's something you don't know or you want to learn more about. Who I will share my museum with? Think about your audience. Is it going to be for your little brother or sister? Is it going to be for your grandparents? Is it going to be for your friends? Just for you? Think about who you want to share it with and that might decide what you want to include. And then your museum's name. What are you going to name your museum? That might be the last thing you think about or maybe it comes to you right away, but you want to include that somewhere. Another thing to think about is that your museum doesn't have to look like the museum you've seen before. The Tuckerton Seaport is a museum. Some people don't think of it as that at first because they think of museums as being all white walls, kind of fancy with art in it or something, but really a museum can take a lot of different forms. Um, even at the Seaport, we like to teach people out on the water, on the creek. So maybe your museum has something different that you haven't seen before, but you want to include. So you can get some material ready as you're thinking. Um, you probably want a box to kind of set up your museum in. I have this cereal box that I'm going to kind of open like a book and stand up. Whatever size box you want, a shoe box works great because you can kind of open and close it. I also have some scissors, a pencil, some paper, and some markers just to get started with. Once I decide my theme and kind of get into it, I might need some more things. So for my museum, I was thinking a lot about the video series we've been doing and some of the recycled projects that we've made. So I titled my museum, Wait, Don't Throw That Away. And I decided to collect some recycled materials um, and make things out of them or kind of have a place where I could put things I wanna use in the future. So I made a little weaving from some t-shirt scraps from another project. And then I made a spot where I could add materials to my museum. So it wouldn't be done by the time I kind of finished making it. It's somewhere I can put things that I want to use in my projects in the future. That way I'm not throwing away as many things. I hope that you will share your museum with us on social media or at least with someone in your life so that they can kind of share the experience that you made and maybe even learn something from you. I hope you enjoyed this project. It's a great way to kind of explore your own interests. Sometimes in school, we don't always get to do that, but this is a great way to kind of continue your learning. <music>